In the previous lecture, we essentially said that energy that is stored within an inductor is stored within the magnetic field that is produced inside the loops of wire as a result of our alternating electric current. So, let's suppose we have the following inductor, which is assumed to be a solenoid. So, we have an alternating electric current I that is traveling through our loops of wire. Now, as this alternating electric current is traveling through the loops of wire, it is creating a magnetic field inside our solenoid. And all that energy is being stored within that magnetic field. So, let's suppose a certain very thin long solenoid contains a uniform magnetic field of 0.86 teslas. So if the solenoid contains a radius of 6 centimeters and the length is 12 meters, calculate in part A the quantity of energy U that is being stored within the magnetic field and in part B calculate the energy density given by lowercase u. So let's begin with part A. In the previous lecture, we were able to derive the equation that gives us the quantity of potential energy stored within the magnetic field inside a solenoid. So our magnetic field squared multiplied by the cross-sectional area A multiplied by the length of our solenoid L divided by 2 times the permeability of free space mu naught gives us our uppercase U. It gives us the quantity of energy stored within our magnetic field inside our solenoid. So the B is given to be 0.86 teslas. Our cross-sectional area is pi r squared. Now the r is 6 centimeters, but we want to convert it from centimeters to meters, so we divide by 100. So 0.06 meters squared times pi is the area, multiplied by the square of our magnetic field, and multiply that by the length of 12 meters. And we divide this by 2 multiplied by the permeability in free space, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps. And that gives us about 40 kilojoules of energy. So, this is the quantity of energy that is being stored within our magnetic field inside the solenoid. Now, in part B, to calculate the energy density, we can simply take this equation and divide it by the volume inside our solenoid. So, since the volume of the solenoid is simply the product of the length of the solenoid and our cross-sectional area A, so we divide this by A multiplied by L, this will cancel out, and our energy density given by lowercase u is equal to B squared divided by, two, uh, divided by 2 multiplied by the permeability of free space. So 0.86 tesla squared divided by 2 times 4 pi times 10 to negative 7 teslas times meters divided by amps, and that gives us about 294 kilojoules per meter cubed is our energy density of the following solenoid.